Today, I am going to explain Fourier series of complex forms, or we can say complex form of Fourier series. Okay. What do you mean by complex form of Fourier series? See, we know Fourier series means f of x is equal to s zero by two plus sigma n equal to one to infinity n cos n x plus b n sin n x. If the function is defined in the interval of minus pi to plus pi, if the function, then we know that e raised to i theta means e raised to i theta means cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, e raised to minus i theta means cos theta minus i sin theta. E raised to i theta means cos theta plus i sin theta. E raised to minus i theta means cos theta minus i sin theta. I am going to add these two equations. E raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta equal to two cos theta. Therefore, cos theta means e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta. E raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta divided by two. That is cos theta. Similarly, subtracting the term, then e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta equal to two i sine theta. Therefore, sine theta is equal to e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta divided by two. That is cos theta and sine theta. If cos theta equal to e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta by two. Then we can write cos n theta equal to e raised to i n theta plus e raised to minus i n theta divided by two. Okay. So then sine n theta equal to e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i n theta divided by two. That is cos n theta and sine n theta. Cos theta means e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta divided by two, and sine theta equal to e raised to minus i theta, e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta divided by two. Then cos n theta means e raised to i n theta plus e raised to minus i n theta by two. Sine n theta equal to e raised to i n theta, e raised to i n theta minus e raised to minus i n theta. Divided by two, e raised to i n theta minus e raised to minus i n theta divided by two. That is sine theta. Substitute the values of cos n theta and sine n theta in this equation. Suppose that is substitute this value. That is a cos x equal to s zero by two plus sigma n equal to one to infinity n cos n theta n x cos n x means E raised to i n x plus e raised to minus i n x divided by two plus b n sine n x e raised to i n x minus e raised to minus i n x by two. So substitute the values of cos n x and sine n x in this equation. We get a series of terms of the form. We get a series of terms of the form. E raised to i n x and e raised to minus i n x. This series is called a complex form of Fourier series. Okay. If we substitute the values of e raised to i n x and e raised to minus i n x in this form, we get a series of terms of the form e raised to i n x and e raised to minus i n x. This series is called as a complex form of Fourier series. Okay. Then this complex form of Fourier series we can calculate one another method that is the simplest form. The complex form of a Fourier series is f of x is equal to sigma n minus infinity to plus infinity c n e raised to minus c n e raised to i n pi x c raised c n e raised to i n pi x by n. That is the formula. If the function defined in the interval minus l to plus l, then Fourier series of the complex form of Fourier series is 
f x equal to sigma minus infinity to plus infinity c n e raised to i n y x by n where c n equal to 2 by l integral minus l to plus l f of x e raised to minus i n pi x by n okay you have of x equal to sigma minus infinity to plus infinity c n e raised to i n pi x by n then c n equal to 2 by l integral minus l no no 1 by 2 sorry 1 by 2 l minus infinity minus l to plus l f of x into e raised to minus i n pi x by l i n by x by l and also c0 equal to 1 by 2 l into integral minus l to plus l f of x dx okay then substitute this value then also we can convert this complex form of the Fourier series is f x equal to c0 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity sigma n equal to 1 to infinity c n e raised to i n pi x by l or we can write sigma n equal to 1 to infinity c n e raised to i n pi x by l plus c minus n e raised to minus i n pi x by l okay we have complex is Fourier complex form of Fourier series we can calculate by using the formula f of x equal to sigma minus infinity to plus infinity c n e raised to i n pi x by l if the function is defined in the interval minus l to plus l then c n equal to 1 by 2 l into integral minus l to plus l f of, e, f of x e raised to i n pi x by l then c 0 equal to 1 by 2 l into integral minus l to plus l f of x dx. If we are to calculate c0 and cn, then we can also calculate for complex form of Fourier series by using this formula f of x equal to c0 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity cn e raised to i n by x by l plus sigma c minus n e raised to i minus i n by x by l. Okay. You have to these two formulas, okay? For complex form of Fourier series is from of these points. Don't forget about it. This one of f x equal to c0 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity c n e raised to i n by x by n plus c minus c minus n i e raised to minus i n by x by n. If the function defined in the interval minus n to plus n. Okay? Clear it is e raised to i n pi x by l this one okay you want to write this i n pi x okay pi x by l ready let us pass to some problems okay correct this question Just do it one minute.
Blue. F of x plus 2 pi equal to F of x plus 2 pi equal to F of x and obtain from it and, and obtain from it obtain from it the usual Fourier series the usual Fourier series usual Fourier series okay Yes, find the complex form of Fourier series. Do some problems. Find the complex form of Fourier series. F of x equal to 0, minus pi less than x less than 0, and 1, 0 less than x less than pi. F of x plus 2 pi equal to f of x. Because the period equal to 2 pi. That is f of x plus 2 pi equal to f of x. And obtain from each the usual Fourier series. And obtain from each usual the usual Fourier series. Okay, obtain from it the usual Fourier series. We have to determine the complex form of Fourier series. That is f of x is equal to sigma minus infinity to plus infinity cn e raised to i n pi x by n and pi x by n. Here the function is defined in the in the interval. Here function is defined in the interval in the interval minus pi to plus pi minus pi to plus pi then f of x is equal to sigma n equal to sigma minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity c n e raised to put x equal to yeah, pi put a l equal to pi pi and pi cancel e raised to i n x then c n equal to Instead of 2 by x, instead of 1 by 2 x, we can write 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 by integral minus pi to plus pi f of x f of x e raised to i n x. Put the cancel l means pi. Pi and pi cancel. This becomes as f of x e raised to i n x dx. Okay. Here the function is defined in the interval minus pi to plus pi. Then f of x equal to sigma minus infinity to plus infinity cn e raised to i n x where cn equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi f of x e raised to minus i n x e raised to minus i n x dx e raised to minus i n x dx okay let's pass to the problems this here f of x means so we can do some we can by using this formula we have to find out cn cn equal to 1 by 2 pi into integral minus pi to 0 minus pi to 0 f of x 0 minus e raised to minus i index dx okay plus integral 0 to pi f of x means f of x means 1 e raised to minus i index dx okay yes integral this function 1 by 2 pi into first term is 0 what is that term? integral of e raised to minus i index e raised to minus i n x divided by minus n i n limit n 0 to pi okay then take this term minus 1 by 2 n pi i into e raised to minus i n pi minus e raised to 0 put x is equal to pi see we know that cos theta means e raised to i theta means cos theta plus i sin theta then e raised to minus i theta means cos theta minus i sin theta so e raised to minus i n by equal to 
minus 1 by 2 n pi i into e raised to minus i n pi equal to cos 2 n pi minus i sin 2 n pi. Okay, e raised to row means 1. e raised to minus i theta means cos theta minus i sin theta. Here theta means n pi, but cos cos theta plus i sin theta. So we can write this is equal to cos n pi, cos n pi and minus i sin n pi. Cos n pi minus i sin n pi. Cos n pi minus i sin n pi. Cos n pi equal to cos n pi equal to minus 1 or raised here and minus 1. Multiply with minus. So the final answer 1 minus minus 1 all raised to n by 2 n by i. Okay, 2 n by i. That is the value of c i. If n is equal to 0, then this we, can, we cannot define the term. So, we have to find out c0 separately. This is equal to c n equal to 1 minus minus 1 all raised to n by 2 n pi i. If n equal to 0, the denominator becomes 0 means answer becomes as n pi. So, we have to separately find out the value of c0. Okay. So, I am going to write this value cn equal to cn equal to cn equal to 1 minus minus 1 the all raised to n divided by 2n by i. Okay. Is the yes. adjoining uh, not i 1? Which? Minus and this one is 1. Cosine this one. Not over there. This one. Okay. Cos 0 equal to 1. Cos 0 equal to 1. So this is equal to 1. This one equal to this. And multiplying with the minus, minus 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 plus and minus, minus one. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes, we have to find out the value of C0. Ready? C0 is equal to C0 equal to 1 by 2 pi. Here function is defined in the interval minus 5 to plus 5. Therefore C0 equal to 1 by 2 pi into minus 5 to plus 5 f of x dx. Okay. That is 1 by 2 pi into integral minus 5 to 0 minus 5 to 0 0 dx and again integral 0 to pi 1 dx. Okay. Integral dx is equal to x. Apply the value. Integral dx is equal to x. That is 1 by 2 pi into x limit to 0 to pi. Then we can write 1 by 2 pi into pi. Cancel this term. Therefore, this result equal c0 equal to 1 by 2. cn is equal to 1 minus minus 1 all raised n by 2 n by and c0 is equal to 1 by 2. Substitute this value in the complex form of more series formula. That is f of x equal to c0 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity cn e raised to i n x plus c minus n e, cn e raised to i n x i n x plus c minus n e raised to minus i n x. Okay. cn e raised to i n x plus c minus n e raised to minus n x. That is c0. C0 means 1 by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity cn. cn is equal to 1 minus minus 1 the whole raised n by 2 n pi i into e raised to i n x plus c minus n that means minus cn. cn equal to 1 minus minus 1 whole raised n by 2 n pi i into e raised to minus i n x. That's all. That is this result. Okay, Cn. If uh, sigma n equal to 1 to infinity, 1 minus minus 1 all raised n by 2 n by i e raised to i n x plus um, set minus my 1 minus minus 1 all raised n by 2 n by i into e raised to minus i n x. Okay. Then we can substitute n equal to 1, 2, 3. Before that, take the common term 2 pi i, 1 by 2 pi i into sigma n equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 minus minus 1 all raised n by n into e raised to i n x minus again 1 minus minus 1 all raised n by n into e raised to minus i n x okay yes then put n is equal to 1 2 3 etc this is actually, this is known as a complex form of Fourier series. This is known as a complex form of Fourier series. But we have to obtain from it usual Fourier series. That is the 
we have to obtain from a new shell porosilis. This is known as a complex form of porosilis. In the okay. second term, e raised to minus minus i n x. E raised to minus i n x. E raised to minus i n x. Okay. Yes, protein is equal to one two three. That is one by two out of one by two by i into okay one by two by put n equal to one minus one all raised one minus one minus into minus plus two by one e raised to i x e raised to i x okay put n equal to two minus one all square plus one this becomes a zero so we can divide by ten put n equal to three that is equal to plus two two by three e raised to i three x similarly two by i e raised to i five x Plus etc. Okay, and again minus. Okay, minus. Put an equal to one. Minus 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 plus two by one. E raised to minus i x. Okay, and e raised to i minus i x. And again put an is equal to three. Two becomes a zero. Two four six eight etc. becomes zero. Put an equal to three. That is also equal to two by three. E raised to minus i three x. Put an equal to five. Two by i e raised to minus i pi x plus etc. Okay, then this also known as complex form of porosilis because i is there, so we can say this form is also called as a complex form of porosilis. E raised to minus x e raised to i three etc. This all are i. Okay, yes. then simplifying for finding u shell porosilis. Okay, substitute this value. You suggest this. I am going to simplify the term. Take the first and last term. That is one by two plus one by two pi i into. Take this term. Yes. Two e raised to i x minus two e raised to minus x. Then we can take two all from it. Two all from it. That is two out of. And take this first term and this first term. E raised to i x minus e raised to minus i x. Okay. And again take this term and this term. That is e raised to i three x minus e raised to minus i three x divided by three. Okay, and again plus take this term and this term. That is e raised to i five x e raised to i five x plus e minus e raised to minus i five x e raised to minus i five x divided by i plus x zero. Okay, then we can cancel these two on this for. One by two plus two by pi i into e raised to i x minus e raised to minus i x equal to your pi divided by two equal to your uh, sine x sine x. But there is not two is there, so we can write this is equal to sine x two sine x two sine x. This is equal to two sine three x two sine three x by three. Before that. So let us arrange this i on this side. Okay. That is, take two on common side, and also equal to e raised to i x minus e raised to minus i x divided by two i. Okay, I'm going to multiply all equation with the two i. What pi is there? Okay, and again e raised to i three x minus e raised to minus three x divided by two i into three. And again, this is equal to e raised to i five x, e raised to minus i five x by divided by two i into y plus x zero plus x zero. Okay, we have studied e raised to i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta, and e raised to minus i theta equal to cos theta minus i sin theta. When subtracting this term, we get e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta equal to two i sine theta. Two i sine theta. That is e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta by two i equal to sine theta. Okay. So that is e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta by two i equal to sine x. This is e raised to i three x minus e raised to minus i three x by two i equal to sine three x. E raised to i five x minus e raised to minus i five x by two i equal to So the series is one by two plus two by pi two by pi into sine x next term sine three x by three 
and next sin 5xy 5 plus x and plus. This is known as the usual form of Fourier series. First we have to find out the complex form of series. This is known as a complex form of Fourier series. And this also we call it as a complex form of Fourier series. Okay. And after that we have to obtain from it the usual Fourier series. Usual Fourier series means 1 by 2 plus 2 by 1, sorry, 1 by 2 plus 2 by 5 into sin x plus sin 3x by 3 plus sin 5x by 5. That is the usual form of complex form of the Fourier series. Sorry, usual form of Fourier series. This is known as a usual form of Fourier series. This is known as a complex form of Fourier series. Okay. This is known as complex form of Fourier series. And this is known as a usual form of Fourier series. Okay. Ready? Yes. Yes. Find the complex next question. Find the complex form of Fourier series. F is equal to X. X in the interval F is equal to X in the interval minus pi uh, less, less than minus, less, less than, than pi. Uh, and f of x plus 2 pi of x and obtain it from the usual Fourier form. Yeah. Yes. Just usual Fourier series. Okay. Here also we have to find out the complex form of Fourier series. Complex form of Fourier series defined in the interval minus pi to plus pi. Then we can write sigma minus infinity to plus infinity cn e raised to i n x if the function is defined in the interval minus pi to plus pi. Okay. Then for a series complex form of for a series is f x equal to sigma minus infinity to plus infinity cn e raised to i n x where cn is equal to cn is equal to 1 by 2 pi into integral minus pi to plus pi f of x e raised to minus i n x dx. Ready? Yes. Now let us pass to the problem. Here f x is equal to x. Given f x is equal to x, f of x equal to x. Given that f of x equal to x. Therefore cn equal to cn equal to 1 by 2 pi into integral minus pi to plus pi f of x x e raised to minus i n x into dx. Ready? Then by using tabular integration by parts, first to function into integral of second e raised to minus i n x divided by minus n minus derivative of x 1 and integral of second minus e raised to minus i n x by minus i n into minus i n that is i square n square okay that is 1 unit x u minus pi into plus pi that is 1 by 2 pi into x e raised to minus i n x by minus i n i square equal to minus 1 minus into minus equal to plus the value of i square minus 1 minus into minus plus my e raised to minus i n x divided by n square limit here minus pi to plus pi okay apply the upper limit and the lower limit that is 1 by 2 pi into 1 by 2 pi into put x is equal to pi pi 1 by minus i into pi e raised to minus i n pi minus x equal to minus pi into minus into minus plus e raised to i n pi okay put that take 1 by, 1 by minus i as a common term put x equal to pi pi into e raised to minus i n pi minus put x equal to minus pi minus pi into minus into minus plus plus e raised to i n pi similarly 1 by n square into upper limit e raised to minus i n pi minus then e minus into minus plus e raised to i n pi okay i n pi that is equal to the upper limit and down limit then we can take pi as a common term then e raised this minus into minus equal to plus then e raised to i theta e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta equal to 2 cos theta and e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta equal to 2i sin theta. 
substrate this value in the question we get the answer. Okay. Therefore, Cn equal to Cn equal to okay. Cn equal to Cn equal to 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi into take pi as a common term minus pi that is minus pi out of minus into minus plus e raised to i n pi and also minus e raised to minus i n pi or you can do multiply throughout by take pi as a common term and multiply minus i pi out of this minus big minus and also this equal to plus sign and the plus yeah. so we can write you want to multiply with i on both sides then i square equal to minus sign okay that is 1 by i x i n e raised to minus i n x by minus i n i might take i as a common term 1 by i then uh, minus into plus minus take upper limit pi into e raised to minus i n pi minus i n by and this minus x equal to minus pi e raised to minus n minus plus e raised i n by okay that is pi by i my pi by minus i into we can write e raised to i n pi i n pi and this also plus e raised to um, minus i n pi e raised to minus n pi okay e raised to minus n i n pi and this is equal to plus 1 by n square out of 1 by n square out of e raised to um, take minus as a common term okay then minus 1 by n square out of e raised to i n pi e raised to i n pi minus e raised to minus i n pi ready yes here pi is take pi as a common term minus into minus plus e raised to i n pi plus e raised to minus i n pi okay and this take minus as a common term minus 1 by n square out of e raised to i n by minus e raised to minus i n by e raised to i n by minus e raised to minus n by e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta equal to 2 cos theta so e raised to i n by plus e raised to minus i n by equal to that is 2 pi into 2 pi into pi by minus i into e raised to i n by plus e raised to minus i n by equal to 2 cos n by minus 1 by n square into e raised to i n by minus e raised to minus i n by equal to 2 i sin n by okay then one prime open this bracket that is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 multiply 2 by 2 by cancel cos n pi by minus i and this is also 2 and 2 cancel and uh, minus i that is minus 2 cancel minus i by n square pi sin n pi that is the value of c n that is equal to c n cos n pi by minus i cos n pi by minus i and this is equal to i 2 and 2 cancel minus i